Hey everybody! Ah, God. Freaking sound like my freaking. I don't know. Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to Naruto versus Ichigo. And guys, quick. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyways, um, um, okay. Thanos versus Dark Side. The new upload. It will be coming out very soon. Um, I got everything, I got everything working, you can see everything is not black no more. It's, it's not black no more, like an old one. But, yes, that will be coming out soon, probably after this upload. Either after this upload or during when, or when I'm editing, which takes, like, not really long. But anyways, yes, this, we, I will be reacting to the newest, the goddamn newest, Death Bell that came out, which is Ichigo versus Naruto. <sighs> the two anime characters, two well known anime characters. Oh my god. Finally, so many people. Oh wait, I forgot to plug this in. There we go. So many people wanted to. This fight apparently because it's a ninja versus like I don't know too much about Bleach, so I can't say oh yeah, it's a ninja versus Soul Reaper or ninja versus da da da. I'm not a hundred percent sure on um on Bleach. Anyways, plus even though um there's no back to my chair right now, I'm just saying. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, you, you guys can't really see it, but here. Yeah, the back of my chair. There is no back to my chair. So, yeah. So, if I do fall down, I blame that. Perfect. But now, um, oh my god, um, I will have to say with Naruto because I know more, like, I don't know a whole, like, every single detail of them, but I know uh, some, some stuff. That I can that I can get an idea of Ichigo. I'm not sure. I've not watched Bleach. I probably I probably only seen one fight of Ichigo and somebody I can't remember. But yeah, um, yeah, I only seen one fight with Nar. Oh, not Naruto. Ichigo, which I have seen like a couple of fights. Plus, even though I feel like his forms and his regeneration in those in those forms can actually help him against Ichigo. Again, I'm not a hundred percent sure on how strong he is. This is why I'm reacting to Death Bell to see what their research is, so I can get an idea. Because Animation Online did do an Ichigo versus Naruto, but that was like like a year or two ago at least. But yeah, let's get on with this video, and let's get on with the reaction. Link in the description. You already know the drill. Link in the description below for the original video. Go support Screw Tech if you want to. I know I'm a small channel, but still, go su go support them. And my Patreon is in the description below. Go on, people. I just want people to support my channel so I can keep on doing these reactions. These reactions are not cheap, you know. We'll take the free. They're not. They're 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 not cheap. Just just follow my Patreon, please. But without further ado, guys, let's get on with this video right now. Bum, 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 bum. The Holy Shonen Trinity, the Big Three. Any longtime reader of Shonen Jump will recognize these some of the biggest titles in manga and anime history. Besides Jack Mosley. two of those shonen heroes to throw down. Naruto Uzumaki, ninja prodigy of the Hidden Leaf. And Ichigo Kurosaki, the enormously powerful... Besides Dragon Ball Z, these, these two are good, uh, well known. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. 
Konoha, the village. Actually, real quick, guys, this video will be at least half an hour. If you do not see the freaking how long this video is, it's 28 minutes. So, even though with me talking, it's probably like past 30 minutes, so. Hidden in the leaves is a pretty quiet town. Not what I'd expect for a city full of ninja. Still, there was at least one troublemaker among the bunch. The number one knucklehead ninja. You know what? I'm actually surprised. I'm home, everyone! Naruto Uzumaki has returned to the Hidden Leaf Village! Run! Orphaned at a young Run, age, he's back! Exercised by his peers, Naruto may have been mischievous, but he had great aspirations. His goal was to become the town's Hokage. Which is a fancy word for ninja governor! The only <laughs> way Naruto could reach such a prestigious position was to excel in ninja school. Like Ninja Harry Potter! Cut! <laughs> really find a place that'll teach him not to dress like a clown and run like a real human being. What does he think he is, an airplane? Actually, his posture likely decreases wind resistance, which could be beneficial when moving at superhuman speeds where angular momentum is a smaller factor. Huh? I remember when you ran like that in middle school. Hey, that was for research. Sure, Wiz. Anyway, well, it's just for research, if you watch the anime. He still tried his hardest to reach his goal. But first, <laughs> he'd have to learn how to control his chakra. In Buddhism and Hinduism ideologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body which can be opened to achieve enlightenment. But the ninja in Naruto's world had a slightly different interpretation. Yeah, oh, slightly? Hey, yeah, it weaponized is. weaponized it. Naruto can use chakra for all sorts of flashy attacks. He can heal himself, seal monsters away, walk up walls, or even stand on water like a ninja Jesus. He's learned a Ninja Jesus is real! ...or jutsus, gazuntai, and even developed yeah. <laughs> ones of his own. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great jutsu. Fort Clone Jutsu, go! Over and over and over again. Unlike the standard clone technique, Shadow Clones are tangible with their own combat capabilities. By dividing his chakra between himself and his clones, it's nearly impossible to distinguish the real Naruto from the fakes. And he can get pretty tricky when he makes thousands of them. No, it's an extremely adaptive click. Oh, okay. can always just beat his opponents down with the Rasengan. By spinning chakra in his hand, Naruto creates a compact ball of energy which can blast through solid stone. While the Rasengan usually takes years to learn, Naruto figured it out after training for just over a week. He's invented more okay, than Willy Wonka's invented candies. But his top pick is the Rasen Shiro. Ah, I didn't mean that. By combining the Rasengan with the element of wind, he uses it to turn the spinning ball into a spinning blade. More like a uh, destructive disc. A vortex of wind so sharp, it'll mess you up at a cellular level. Naruto has plenty of other techniques yeah. in his orange sleeves, including summoning, substitution, and transformation jutsus. He can even transform into a... Uh, a naked woman. Ho 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 ho! Looks like he's been studying. I guess that's one plus side to not having parents. You don't need to worry about anyone walking in on you. While most individuals have chakra, everyone has a limit. The more physical and spiritual energy one possesses, the more chakra they'll have at their disposal. Just like the gas tank from a chainsaw. Mm. Thanks to his heritage, Naruto already has a great deal of chakra. The Uzumaki clan was famous for their strong chakra, long, li long life span. Rapid healing ability and da 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 with sealing techniques. Okay. I just like how they did that. They actually put like a little tab in, in case they missed something. Even still, he has far more than he reasonably should. All thanks to the beast within. Yeah, he's got a monster in his stomach. Let's backtrack a few years. On the day of uh. Naruto's birth, his village was attacked by a chakra beast known as the Nine-Tailed Fox. A monster so it looks like um, uh, nine tails could level Pokemon. a mountain. In desperation, the Hokage at the time sacrificed himself to split the nine tails in two, sealing one half within his own son, Naruto. So his first ever birthday gift to his son was a giant pet fox that can destroy cities. <laughs> I wish he was mine. Yeah, he's in human country level, at least. Discovered how to communicate with the nine tails. They didn't get along at first. 
Fox A would threaten to eat Naruto. Naruto would whack him over the head with a big shrine gate. You know, typical roommate drama. Mm. Still, they eventually became friends, and Naruto learned the fox's name was Kurama. Afterward, Kurama willingly shared his chakra with Naruto on a regular basis. Mm. And as a being composed of chakra, Kurama's reserves are gigantic. With so much power at his fingertips, Naruto can enter okay, a what? bunch of different super forms. First up is Sage Mode, which sounds like something he learned from an old wise man or wizard, right? <laughs> nope, he learned it from a frog. This state increases what all of fuck? Naruto's physical abilities. Furthermore, Sage Mode allows Naruto to perceive the entire area around him and tap into naturally occurring energy via Senjutsu. He can enhance his chakra attacks by adding natural energy, but if he's not careful, he'll turn into a frog. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. With Kurama's chakra, Naruto can enter multiple tail beast forms, which drastically increases physical prowess and energy output. Best of which is the Nine Tails Chakra Mode. Yes! Come on! It got even better when he befriended Mr. Fox, upgrading to the stronger, faster, tougher Kurama Chakra Mode. Chakra Mode grants Naruto extra protection, a sense for negative emotions, and the ability to create additional chakra arms. Whoa, that's a lot of hands! Gotta wonder what kind of things he does. He's capable of creating Whoa, at least nine attacks, chakra arms. Similarity. Okay. The works. Yeah, that's not what I was. Ah, creepy daddy. What the fuck? He can also shroud himself in a nine tails sized avatar and use Kurama's ultimate attack, the Tail Beast Bomb. So destructive, it can level a mountain range. Sealing, sealing other tail beast. It, the tail beast bomb maximum damage output is seven terra terra tons of TNT. Okay, five million. Damn. Form, it's spoiler time. Pay attention. No, no. <laughs> All this chakra stuff started with an alien named Kaguya who ate a fruit which basically created chakra. Huh. Later, she got all murder happy, so her son stopped her. One of these sons, the Sage of Six Paths, had his own son named Ashura, and Naruto is the reincarnation of him. Really? Oh, yeah. Naruto's kind of an alien. Through this connection, Naruto was gifted the most divine form of energy, Six Paths Chakra. With it, he can enter Six Paths Sage Mode. His strength gets boosted even more. He can fly, and he can use truth-seeking walls, which are orbs of chakra that can transform into weapons and destroy anything they touch. He can yeah, that bad <laughs> Not for, for other reasons. Natural energy to his Kurama avatar to form Six Paths Ashura Kurama Sage Mode. How many forms does he have? Confusing amount of forms. Anyway, Naruto is also an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and could run faster than the eye could see when he was just 12 years old. He's dodged a lightning speed punch from the 4th Raikage, a feat considered comparable to his- The lightning- The speed of a lightning bolt return- Return struck at 22 million miles per hour, or they- No, I don't care about kilometers. Kilometers. He even does this light speed loogie. Uh, according to the fourth data book, this light fang attack does indeed move at light speed, over 670 million miles per hour. He's um, tough enough to survive getting stabbed, have his soul ripped out, or get smacked in the face with a beam that can slice the frickin' moon apart. Wow! Oh, they are kidding! Beast at once left a statue weighing several hundred tons, survived a fall from the clouds, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with invisible limbo shadows, huh. and pulverized six falling meteorites simultaneously. His chakra is so tough, he can power through Amaterasu, a fire jutsu with flames so strong, they burn other flames. He could even okay, make what? for blind people. What's up with that? Oh, and in his final fight with rival and possibly closet boyfriend Sasuke, the <laughs> opposing power was so great they obliterated miles upon miles of land, changing the weather and disintegrating a lake. <laughs> Only then, after defeating Sasuke, saving the world from Kaguya, reuniting the split halves of Kurama. I swear, if they downplay Naruto, I swear. But he's still pretty dumb. I mean, he named his son Burrito. Boruto. Yeah, close enough. Now I just curious to watch Naruto. 
Shinigami. It may sound like a foreign word to some, but you all know what it is. The no. Death God. The Grim Reaper of Souls. Okay, what? And the 17-year-old ginger with a badass sword. Ichigo Kurosaki seemed like a pretty normal kid growing up, doing well in school and learning martial arts from his father. Except there was one little oddity. He could see ghosts. Oh, it's like the kid from The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. One day, oh, he was no. nine years old and walking home with his mother, young Ichigo noticed what he thought was a girl about to fall into a river. So naturally, he ran over to rescue her like the brave little kid he was. Except it wasn't really a girl at all. It was a hollow, a monster spawned from an abandoned human soul. And it promptly killed his mother. Bummer. Damn. Me of how I lost my poor mama Why every anime I'm someone got lose their parents? Why? Right. Or don't have well, parents. Ichigo remained ignorant of the truth until years later, when he met a woman named Rukia, who held the illustrious job title of Shinigami, or Soul Reef, hmm. a guardian of the dead who keeps balance in the universe by... I got no idea how to pronounce that word. Was translated to Soul Reaper for most English-speaking audios. Helping those who okay. have passed move on to audios. the afterlife. Otherwise, they turn into violent hollows. And if you show up late to work and it doesn't work out, the Soul Reaper can always cut hollows down with their awesome swords. Like Samurai Ghostbusters. Anyway, Good. the two of them got into a bind, and Rukia had to share some of her power with Ichigo. Yes, yeah, some of her power. Soul Reaper all alone. Convenient. When accessing his Shinigami power, Ichigo leaves his physical body for a new one made up of Reishi, or spiritual matter, which makes him invisible to anyone in the living world. Reishi is primary component of all element matter. It is made up all spiritual body and natural existence in the atmosphere like oxygen. Oh. World, despite still being physically present. And his new powers make him super deadly. He can move with blinding speed, cut through giant monsters with ease, survive being punched through whole city blocks, and even fly through the air. It's more accurate to say he walks through the air, using naturally occurring reishi as footholds. But let's get huh. to the dicey part of his getup. That awesome sword! It's a Zanpakuto, a blade connected to its owner's soul. It may look like an oversized steak knife, but yeah. it's the Soul Reaper's best friend. Every Shinigami possesses a Zanpakuto spirit within themselves, which manifests as their sword. Ichigo's is called Zangetsu. Well, both of them are. Oh, here we go. Strap in, because this shit's about That's to That's only um, Zengetsu Ichigo from um, Kill a Kill. two different Zampakto spirits drawn from his weird and confusing heritage. All right, so long story short, Ichigo's a soul reaper because his dad is too. But he's also part Quincy, which is a human with crazy powers, because that's what his mom was. But he's also part hollow, because his mom was possessed by a hollow called White, and White got passed on to him when he was born. Oh, and he's also part Fullbringer, but nobody cares about Fullbringers. <laughs> One of Ichigo's inner spirits is a manifestation of his Quincy side inherited from his mother. While the that other sounds so confusing. And the hollow. Unfortunately, Shinigami and Quincy go together like boys. The Quincy Tangitsu even limits Ichigo's Shandaki power and in an attempt to take him from fighting. Obviously, that he didn't it okay. Exactly, go as planned. To find okay. a balance between these two sides, Ichigo learned plenty of neat techniques, like his bread and butter attack, the Getsuga Tensho. By concentrating his Reatsu, or spiritual pressure, through his. Reatsu is the physical force per performed when allowed spiritual energy to offend. Okay, I gotta freaking put this on. Vibrate? Alright. Do I have silence? No, I do not. So. Nope. Uh, to offense or defense, some regenso perform. prefer. or uh, are too strong. They. they just. throw all the other words. Sword. Ichigo can launch a massive slashing attack. Call it like it is, Wiz. It's a sword beam. And Ichigo can charge it up, 
fire from up close, or even blast two of them at once. From his Quincy Stick, he a temporary defense which grants inhuman durability. From his Shinigami training, he developed exceptional sword skills and learned Shunpa, or Flash Step, which greatly enhances his speed. Huh. But there's one really big deal we haven't talked about yet. One, two! Bunkai. Over the course of his career battling Hollows and protecting his friends, Ichigo has attained many, many different superpowered forms, starting with the base Shinigami form, Shikai. Despite essentially being Ichigo's base, this form is strong enough to block an attack from the Sokyoku, said to have power equal to one million Zampakto. The next step was Bunkai. What's Zampakto? Ten years to reach this form, but Ichigo did it in Ichigo. two days, like a boss. If Ichigo is often praised for quick, for how quick he can learn and adapt to situations and new abilities. When using Bankai, one's power can grow anywhere from five to ten times greater. And according to the official data book, while in Bankai, Ichigo moves like lightning. Wait, why does his sword shrink when he goes Bankai? Shouldn't it be bigger since he's stronger? Technically, yes, but Ichigo can control its size to keep it more manageable. If oh. Shinigami couldn't minimize their blades, some would have swords the size of skyscrapers. Awesome! What? The hollow inside wanted a piece of the action, too. So Ichigo gained a new power boost with a spoopy hollow mask. This form is strong enough to lift five iron pillars, each weighing nearly 100 tons. Though if he's not careful, the hollow can take control of his body, sending him into a violent berserker state commonly referred to as Basta Lorde. What? Lack of consciousness, Basto Lorde Ichigo could heal quickly and was strong enough to overcome Ukiora, who's powerful enough to nuke a city. Oh. Oh. Dead, Ichigo got a sort of second Bankai, which most people call Dangai Ichigo. In this form, he shattered mountains without even trying. He broke through the Black Coffin attack, which distorts time and space. Okay, so what? Right after that, he survived a shot so friggin' big, the explosion could be seen for miles. By comparing this crater to those left by real-life bomb tests, I'd estimate the attack to have a maximum explosive yield of 814 kilotons of TNT. That's like Ichigo surviving 54 little boys to the face. <laughs> no, 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 I meant, I meant the bomb from 1945. <laughs> 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 Little boys might hey, little boys. Ichigo whisper his arm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is to give up. For his ultimate attack, Don Guy Ichigo literally <coughs> takes the attention of itself. I know that's confusing, but just roll with it. To summon the incredibly powerful Mugetsu. Which busted up one of the biggest baddies in the whole series. But it also sacrificed all of Ichigo's power. Well, that's a raw deal, but 17 months later, he managed to get them back with Fullbringer powers, which enhanced hey! physical abilities. But then he lost those two. It's worth noting that while in Fullbringer Shikai, his normal sword swings were as strong as his old Getsu Tensha. But he still didn't give up. After training with some top-tier Soul Reapers and eating some food, which gave him Super Reatsu, the moment Let's see we have to. in the most epic quenching of all time, an entire sea disintegrated to form his new true Shikai, complete with not one, but two Zengetsu swords. Hey! Finally balancing the Shinigami, the Hollow, and the Quincy within, Ichigo had reached his full potential. He tamed his Vasto Lorde form, merging it with his Quincy side. In this form, he can combine his Getsuga Tensho with one of the strongest Hollow attacks, the Grand Ray Sero. He also made a trip that normally takes a week in only 9 hours and 15 minutes. Damn! And last but not least, he achieved a brand new level of Bankai. Which was immediately crushed by some old dude who planned to destroy the universe named... He what? You what? He what? It's probably inspired by the Hebrew name for God, Yahweh, and, and the katakana ends with a sharp sound, so... You walk? Yeah, what you gonna do? Well, we can assume this Bankai works similar to his old ones, increasing its physical speed and strength along with his Ryatsu tenfold. Even without his Bankai, he's still cut Mustache Man to shreds. And Fuck you, Mustache! Happily ever after. Until his kid became a Soul Reaper. Yeah, <laughs> what'd he name him? Bitchigo? What? No, it's Kazui. Ah, uh, I might have got him mixed up with the other, uh, Angelata kid or whatever. Eh. Uh, Close enough. Burrito. Now I'm Ichigo Kurosaki, substitute Soul Reaper. 
and I'm combining my powerful spirit energy with But my god, they Why were these not in first debates in the first place? Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, did you know that Naruto and Ichigo are named after food? Maybe you can find them in your next box from Blue Apron. No. Great about variety. Don't bother. Rest Cook. Butter. No one cares. What? No. No, we gotta listen to Boob Six Rays. Right now, it's time for a death battle! I actually wish they actually made it into 3D, but I can work with 2D. What's that energy? Is that a Naruto, I sense a presence. Naruto, <laughs> You know what that is, Naruto? Whoa, even visible! There's right over there. You can't see me? Give me a motherfucker, I wanna touch the booty! I wanna touch the booty! Quit running, coward! Never! Naruto, keep moving. I'll direct you. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh my god, a whole mob of Naruto. Why? Why? No, 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 no. Never mess with the Nine Tails! Is that the best you can do? Um. Really? That better not be it. I was about to say, I was about to go rage mode. I swear, if he does what I think he's gonna do. Okay, that might be a little overkill. Who's that guy? Now you question that? Damn. Even without his powers, Ichigo never gave up. What a badass. Sorry, Bleach fans. I know you all really wanted to win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better training, a broader arsenal, and a better healing factor. And Ichigo's invisible ghost buddy didn't really matter. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with Six Paths power, he can see and fight Madara's Limbo clones, even though they were on a totally separate... Technically, he couldn't... Technically, he, he couldn't physically see Madara's clone, but he could sense the pres their presence and movement to, to a degree which he could... Hold a fist fight with them. Okay. Plane of existence. Also, keep in mind that while Chakra and Reishi have fairly different uses, they both contain Naruto's Ninjutsu and Ichigo's something. 
are also compared comparable in that they exceed naturally occurring energy out through them. Around them. Energy. Let's duck speed. Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million miles per hour. The return stroke is the light is the light traveling down down a jagged ladder or At one something. Speed of light, Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds and even greater. Near the end of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken seven days, but instead took nine hours and fifteen minutes. It's likely Kiriji here was referencing his accomplice's speed, like Ichibe, who can knock his foes two thousand four hundred and forty miles away. Now I'm gonna read that to him in a second. You want you guy beat him by going twice as fast, so. He, as commander of the Zero Divine Division, something is likely stronger Shinigami besides uh, well, Ichigo. Use that as Ichibe's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's massively hypersonic, but not quite light speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour. Damn! faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction time. Alright, point for Ichigo! Speed alone wasn't enough, though, especially since Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's Chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, when he used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran Khan, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost. Of Early fights with region apply blah 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 is five five times two. So each as each goes Shingi form matches region's limit release. Five. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase to all of Ichigo's forms that clearly increased his fighting potential. As well as stack them, even though many Yeah, stacking later forms is well, the previous ones, despite ha having little blah 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 Okay, yeah. Forms were in separate, unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating I'm done with that, though. You'll see why. So, here's our formula. But where do we start? Okay, Bankai Ichigo with his Hollow Mask was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in the Hollow World of Fuego Mundo. What's that, like Mexican hell? <laughs> well, there is a wall. <laughs> Las Noches is square in shape and takes three days to walk from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall, so it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. That's bigger than California, and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So, plug that into the formula, and there you have it. Ichigo's Ryatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons of TNT. Holy shit! See, Naruto's chakra level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived the explosion, and it was explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. <laughs> By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. Billion? 40 billion more than Ichigo. And don't forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes. Which oh, the oh. The moon in half a force that had to be over 27 trillion megatons. This proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 kiloton Frager blast did hurt him immediately notice after. His so unit, notice his uniform after the blast 
When Ichigo loses his power, his clothes turn off. No, this isn't quoting a porn. Where's Kaguya and you walk walk up Planet Busters? Don't they scale to him? Nope. Kaguya's planet busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuwak's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plastic, oh. if one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. Sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto sure got the shonen jump on Ichigo. The winner. No! Naruto Uzumaki. No! Stick around. Oh you. my god. Yeah. All right, let's... If you let's... watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. You try to grab one of these shirts, too. Who is next? Oh! Batman Beyond versus Spider Man 2099. Ooh. That gotta be an interesting match because I have seen a fight like that. Not thinking, oh yeah, they might be similar or probably they are the exact same. The, the exact same person, just in different suits. Which is over on Animation Real One channel. Batman Beyond versus Spider Man 2099. Apparently, I was wrong. And this was like two years ago. But I have seen the fight in Batman Beyond. Oh, well, okay, I haven't seen this fight, but Batman Beyond will win because that Spider Man, I believe, coming down below from Brown, Spider Man twenty ninety nine do not have no spider sense, and I think is the Batman Beyond's name is like Terry or something, and Terry cannot. Well, Terry is has camouflage, and I, I I'm not sure if. Spider Man 2099 can actually sense or see invisibility or can counter invis people that have camouflage. But I'm not going to hold my decision on Batman 2099. Um, I'm not going to hold my I'm not going to say, oh yeah, Batman 2099 can win. I'm not saying that either. But I will say that Batman 2099 has a better. Actually, no, he does win for many, 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 many reasons. For example, Spider-Man 2099, spider webs are not as strong as Peter Parker's spider web. Plus, even, plus even though, apparently, Batman 2099 has a scanner on his, like, thumb or hands or stuff. So, mainly, he can just, like, just, find, just tap on the touch of the web, find what's around, find how strong it is, and just, bam. Plus, even though I believe that Spider-Man is weak to sunlight, so say a flashbang grenade, that will damage his eyes. Which, actually, I see that happening. Because even though uh, Batman Beyond's vehicles does have autopilot if... Okay, yeah, he do, it does have autopilot, like, save paralyzed or poison or something. Plus, uh, Spider-Man 2099. I'm just going to call it 2099 because I'm tired of saying Spider-Man 2099. But Spider-Man... Well, 2099 Spider-Man has uh, fangs that can paralyze people, which is... Yeah. Like, I don't want to rent this video on too long. I think Batman will win... I think Batman will win because of lots of reasons that I can literally, this video can go on like for at least 40 minutes. I'm not, but yes, if you enjoyed this reaction, call, psh, oh, psh, wait, I'm Batman. If you like this video, call, psh, please, Rasenga on that like button, phone, come here, tablet, whatever you use to watch this video, Rasenga on that like button, but, oh wait, no, that's your information. Comment, comment, hold the comments down below of what do you want me to react to, and I will do it. All right. This, this. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. Just cut this. I will do it whenever I get the chance. And without further ado, guys, 
and go support my Patreon if you like this reaction, if you like my channel, if you want to support it, if you want to follow me, if you want to do things on Patreon, do it! But without further ado, guys, peace out.